Nonomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't you start one just by submitting some paperwork? Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonomiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something even worse than Nanoha situation. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nano Hassan? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She gets she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. And she went shopping. Yeah, she looks great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She's here to pay her respects, you moron! Grow the fuck up! Nano Hassan, you should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. <sighs> um... We don't... know you. No, you don't. I'm Saeko. Alright, so... Is Saeko your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Come on, Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four Eyes? No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does? I'm not for sale, if that's what you're asking. I'm a bartender. At a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned, actually. Jeez, he owned a cabaret club and a soap land? Yeah, he may not have looked it, but he was actually one of the top dogs in Ijin Cho's red light district. Now that he's gone, I guess both my club and Orohime land are probably gonna shut down. Was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. And I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, you're sisters, aren't you? <laughs> what, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. 
But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoha-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister, did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be... pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh. Yeah. I knew that already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait, what exactly did he say to you? What? You have your employees doing that? Basically. The home your sister put your dad in? It's a ratchet run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And... Did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her, even now. But at this point, the secret's kinda out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho? I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys, anyway? They're like, uh, well, it's a bum, an ex-Yakuza, and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex-Yakuza that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, ho hold on, I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Uh, hey, what, what are you doing? Whoa! Hey, hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! S Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Loma! Loma! Come to you! Loma! That was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. I think they were speaking Chinese. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, why'd they try to make it look like a suicide? Well, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. 
The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Lao Ma, Lao Ma. Lao Ma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Really? Lao Ma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. One of their bosses? You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like that? <sighs> Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. They might have been calling to Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. You're trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Siryu clan turf. The Ejing Three don't attack on each other's land. They don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Laoma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. You mean he was scared? Uh, not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Nijin Cho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? Uh, he pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh yeah, he takes care of them. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. He's got his personal herd of cop cattle. Yep. And milks them whenever he wants. The police are helpless before the Great Wall. And they know it, too. But don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Hey. We're forgetting an important question. Why would Mabuchi kill Nonomiya? Yeah, doesn't seem like it was robbery. Look at these. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses. But he got them for us. He trusted us. Psycho. Thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. You know, it's really sad. Mm hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years, only for things to end up like this. <clears throat> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together. And it almost worked. But after she died, I just wanted out. <sighs> Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home. Even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. I never thanked him for what he did, not even once. I mean, I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? <sighs> all my life, I felt pretty alone, but I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself, because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating me. Even Nonomiya. <sighs> Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but... If you ask me, that sounds like every other family I've ever come across. Because it's like, Nonomiya doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, grass old man. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that... 
that nobody should care that the police can write them off. I mean, it's their job to do something, but they're acting like it's just another suicide. That's not right. I can't do anything. Not by myself. But before Nonomiya died, he told me about how you three were so much to help my sister and my dad. And I just thought... <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you came here to find us. <laughs> okay. Okay, my ass. Are you dragging us into another mess? You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Oh, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi san? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of. My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that settles it. <laughs> Sachan. Uh, yeah. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> Got a room for a party of four? Sir, did anyone refer you to us? Nah, we were just passing by. Thought the place looked good. I'm sorry, but this bar is members only. You need a referral from one of our existing customers, or from a hostess. Really? This place doesn't look anywhere near fancy enough for all that. Regardless of how it looks, you still need a membership to enter. So I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait, can you just sign us up for the membership? I'm not able to do that either. And may I ask, are you with the police? What makes you think that? I've been in this job long enough to know a cop when I see one. Is our establishment under suspicion of anything? What, like hiring illegal immigrants? Is that what you're worried about? Rest easy. We're not with police or immigration. I hope not. But even if you aren't, rules are still rules. I can't make any exceptions. I really must ask you to leave. Wait, didn't you say a hostess can give a referral? That's correct. Do you know someone who works here? No, but how about this? I will work as a hostess here starting right now. And I'll give my referral to these three. How about that? Uh, huh? Huh? We're a Chinese pub, so our hostesses must either be Chinese or of Chinese descent. Well, I was born in Japan, but my parents are Chinese. So rest assured, I am very much of Chinese descent, my new fellow co-worker. You sure that- Um, isn't this decision a bit above your pay grade? And you're accusing me of lying? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I hope not. Now let me talk to the manager, please. I need to tell him how you turned away a fantastic hostess, and even worse, dismissed her heritage. Wait, I, I get it, okay? Let me go talk to the manager. You still have to pass an interview to be hired on a trial basis. Of course. I'm ready when the manager is. Are you sure about going in alone like this? It's the enemy's home base. You never know what could happen. You guys have already been risking your lives. I'm ready to join the club. And don't worry, I can take care of myself. Alright. But be careful, will ya? I will. 
I've dealt with a lot of trouble in my years of hostessing. I'll call you once I'm in. Is this really gonna work? Well, let's have a little faith in Sachan. Ni hao! Welcome! Ni hao! Welcome! Ni hao! Welcome! Whoa! <laughs> Pretty nice way to be greeted. Unbelievable. Every single girl is sexy as hell. I mean, I, I, I had no idea a place like this was on Restaurant Row. Focus, guys. We gotta find Zhang. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Are you having a nice evening? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ni, ni hao. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh, the girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. A VIP room? Yeah, it's in the back. Funny how she's so popular already. She claims she was Chinese, but she's not, is she? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese. <laughs> Nobody here believes that, sweetie. Well, does that mean she's not getting hired? Oh, she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room. But why, if she's not Chinese? Because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room. That's where the owner's friends hang out. They get to have whatever type of fun they want in there. And a lot of that fun is pretty gross. These friends, are they from the Liomong? Yeah, they're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Bald? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah, you seen him? He's the absolute worst. None of us want to deal with him. So they gave him to Sayako. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Wait, you saying Sayako's with him right now? Get out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! <laughs> On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. Sachan! You okay? This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit! Well, that's a new one. You know, when most guys do something I don't like, it's a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? You deal with creeps that often? Ugh. What the fuck are you all doing in here? We were looking for you, Shang Tsung. Huh. Gone for that money I took from you. Nah, you can keep that chump change. We want you to spill some beans concerning the Yokohama Liumong. Are you really this stupid? No one's gonna tell you stuff about the Liumong. They ain't just some street gang, idiot! I know you're saying that just to play up your loyalty. But then again, how loyal are you really? Maybe I ought to put you to the test. What? You wanna fight? Not if you tell me what I need to know. If you don't, well, it's a different story. Uh. So you want to go another round? Right here? No. No, I don't. But you gotta realize, if I blab to you, I am done for. They'll have my head on a stick. They'll have your head on a stick either way. What? If you don't start talking, I'll tell the leader of your gang exactly how you shake down the homeless. I wonder what he'll do then. You think you can threaten me with my own brothers? Ah, that's a great way of putting it. I wish I would have worded it like that. Shit. How the hell did this all happen? It happened because you decided to dig into the pockets of some poor helpless bums. It's a little late for regret, don't you think? No. Because I still regret going easy on you. If I'd known you'd pull this kind of shit, I would have killed you when we met. Come on, brothers! These guys think they can make a joke out of the Liuma! Get them where they stand! Throw their bodies into the base so the fish can eat them! Yes, yes sir! sir.
Now don't die just yet. Like I said, I have some questions for you. Fuck you! You think I'd tell you anything? So you want me to rat you out to your leader then? Wait, if I tell you, will you promise not to tell them? Have some faith in me, will ya? I'm not an asshole. Could've fooled me. There's no reason for me to believe you won't rat. So, now you're not telling me? Fine. It's ratting time. Fucker! Hey! Bring the manager in here! I wanna tell him how the Honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps! Okay! I'll talk! I'll talk! What the hell do you wanna know? The owner of the Soapland? Why would Mabuchi-san want to kill that guy? I mean, the place was on Seiryu planned turf. There must be some mistake. Yeah, it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. You know for sure he ordered the hit? I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Well, that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? Nah, I don't speak a lick of Chinese. What? But, but, you're Liu Meng. The Yokohama Liu Meng was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then, everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are ni hao and zhe zhe. Hello and thank you. But you're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. Reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brother stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. Is Mabuchi illiterate, too? No. I mean, he was born poor like most of the Leo Mom. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. He's fucking smart, so he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. But I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hint, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. This chump's not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. Wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. We just thought you might know something about your own boss is all. <laughs> well... Nothing we can do now. Yeah, guess you can scram, Zhang. So look, I know how it goes. How what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? Huh? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. And that's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and all. But seriously, stop playing the victim. You're the one who did wrong, anyhow. <sighs> but hey, we're not gonna kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news, either. <sighs> yeah. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? So you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san, but I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah, it does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot, so they couldn't ignore him forever. You 
economy was in shambles, so even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with a the guy they'd shunned. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. Okay, so Yokohama trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. But I used to work there part-time, and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse, unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month, and never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? What, you expected consistency from a guy like this? Shut up! You two don't know shit! Loading freight's exhausting! Hey guys, what if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But Zheng said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only lead we have right now. And even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Otohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liuman guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> you mean Kanbe-san at Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. <laughs> It'd be nice to make some money again. Seriously, I'm totally behind getting both intel and money. That's just being efficient. Moving freight is no job for a woman, sweet cheeks. Oh, really? You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. They'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello Work first thing in the morning. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. Uh, hey, fellas. What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. Do I have to keep repeating myself? We won't tell. Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. But thanks for not being a prick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but while I'm at it, lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. Okay, okay. It's all off the table unless I get their permission first. Is that good? <sighs> I think we're safe now. Time to head on back for the evening. See you in front of Hello Work tomorrow. Hold on. Who's up for a nightcap in the room? Wow, it doesn't take you long to make yourself at home, Adachi-san. This is really nice to see. What is? How you all seem thick as thieves already. Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. Oh, this is just how guys are, Sachan. Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she will. <laughs> That's right. I pity the man who messes with me. Me too. Good night. Hey. Hmm? Forget something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking... Look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty, but... But... If you don't mind that sort of thing, want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy, you know that? Me? <laughs> Never mind. 
Thank you. Wait, is this...? Yep. Don't judge too harshly now. We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. I didn't even know there were places like this in Ijincho. Haha, <laughs> you finally sweet-talked a girl into coming here? Who's the lucky lady? Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. That's pretty much our relationship, isn't it? Hmm. Such a... <laughs> well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to. You got one job, and one job only. The freight comes in, you unload it, and sort by destination. If you're slow, slacking, or sucking, you get a visit from me. You, lady. Uh, yes? Can you read and write? I can. Add and subtract? Yes, sir. Good. You're on office duty. Thank you, sir. Dachi san? <clears throat> this is nothing. Well, don't go so hard you run out of gas like Namba did. <sighs> He's just being a wimp. Oh man. Why does Saiko get the desk job? I can do math, too. Hey, why don't we see what's inside these boxes? What the hell? They're shark fins. The expensive kind? Or the crappy ones? How would I know? This is dried abalone. That's expensive. Never had it myself. What the heck? This is just paper. Do they use paper in Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. Well, Japanese cooking uses washi paper to steam things, so... Maybe China has something similar. Hey! What are you doing over there? Sorry. We'll get back to work. So listen. After the freight's unloaded, a sales rep from the tanker will bring the invoice. A sales rep? From the company that sold us the product. 
It'll be your job to process the invoice and get them paid. Here we are. This is the invoice. Uh, hold on. I never said I could read Chinese. It doesn't matter. You can read the total, can't you? The money's in the safe. It's self-explanatory. That was... How much was that in yen? About eight million. You paid eight million in cash? That's how we get such good deals on products. We pay in a single lump sum, cash, in yuan. The seller gets all their money right away, and avoids paperwork. That's why these mainlanders are willing to sell to us at a much lower price than usual. Cash is king. And just in case it crossed your mind, don't even think of skimming any cash. We keep our eyes open in this warehouse. You pull anything funny, you'll be sorry you ever set foot here. Sir, I wouldn't dream of stealing. Hey. Seriously? <sighs> huh? Yo! Shit! I thought this fucking lube was shampoo. Yeah, refreshing. Crap, you, you're already out of the bath? Sorry. Kasuga, relax. I know what a naked man looks like. Uh, cool, then. Uh, where's Adachi-san and Namba? I'm probably still washing up. Anyway, I was looking into today's price list. Those ingredients that came in were purchased at some pretty hefty prices. Like, what you'd expect for high-class stuff. Must be primo, then. Unless they aren't lying to the restaurants about the quality. Nope. I mean, I'm sure they get a small discount for paying in cash, but... They're doing everything above board, far as I can tell. Damn. The only weird thing is how much they're reselling the ingredients for. What's weird? Like, take the shark fins. They buy 100 grams for 10,000 yen. How much would you sell them to a restaurant for? Uh, to make a decent profit on them... 20,000? Well, the Yokohama Trading Company sells them for just 10,000. What? Wait, wait, they buy it for 10,000 yen, then sell it for 10,000 yen? That doesn't make any sense. How are they turning a profit? Right? Unless it's volunteer work or something, I don't get it. How are they even staying open? Don't they at least need to cover their overhead? Not only have they stayed open, their profits have gone up over the years. For the life of me, I can't figure out how. Oh, I wish I could look at their ledger and not just their invoices. What would that tell you? I don't know, but I think I'd find signs of tax evasion. Don't do anything that would give yourself away. This is the Yokohama Liumon, remember? <laughs> I'll be fine. But you're really that worried about me? Of course I'm worried. Why? Because we're buddies. Because we're buddies. Huh. What? It's a good thing, ain't it? I just... <sighs> I've never really had someone that I could call a buddy. I always just kind of thought movies and manga made that stuff up. Or at the very least, it was something I'd never have. Well, you were wrong, because now you've got us on your side. 
Awesome. Remember, you need good party members to beat Dragon Quest. Uh, isn't that a video game? Well, yeah, but... Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> You're a weird one. I can live with weird. It's true, anyway. Well, thank you, Kasuga, for making me one of your buddies. <laughs> What's up? Someone die in here? Huh? Oh, we were just... Well, hey, seeing as we've got a long, hard road ahead of us, let's knock back some drinks. Sure, on whose tab? Well, there's the pay bonuses the boss left us. Come on, man, we gotta save those for a rainy day. Oh, I'd be so cheap. The boss is in the afterlife right now, yelling at us to live while we can. You're full of shit. I say we don't do it. Madachi san turns a bit feral when it comes to alcohol. It's Bleach Japan. What the hell? The place is already shut down. What do they want now? My friends, look at this filthy evil den of iniquity. Yes, it's an ugly little soap land. Just the other day, our tireless efforts led to the shuttering of this foul place. Yeah! 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 This is our victory! The first bricks of the Grey Zone suffocating this city have cracked and fallen away! But we must not be complacent! We must press on until all the Grey Zones have been purified! Yeah! Hey, we're in mourning right now. It's really not a good time. I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was still vermin lurking around here. Don't you have any respect for people in grief? Don't you have any respect for the law? The shop is closed! This building should be vacant! That's yeah! right! You heard him. Get out of town, you riffraff! Keep your protests to shouting. You lay hands on us, there'll be hell to pay. <laughs> Hey, did you all see that? This thug's showing us his true colors! He thinks he can use violence to crush the voices of the people! He's obviously living in the past! Hurry! Let's close up before they start in on us, too! Where's the Seriyu clan when you need them? What are we paying them protection money for? Get the friggin' heck out of here! People like you are ruining society! You're all criminals! You're enemies of good people! <sighs> now, get out of our town and don't ever come back! I'm just grateful the owner of this shop finally realized what he truly was. A filth-spreading vector of disease. He did the noble thing by taking his own life. What did you just say? What was his name? No, no, Mia. Just looking at him made me want to vomit. I really can't bring myself to be sorry that he's gone. When I think about that man dangling at the end of a rope. <sighs> I feel the same way I do when I finish my spring cleaning. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? Get the fuck out of here! Don't. That won't work, Sachan. Why not? Too late now, you little tart! You assaulted me! You all saw it! Someone called the police! Slapping a guy like him never does much. What? For this kind of fucker. You gotta hit him like this! <laughs> Our leader's down! Let's get in there!
Seriously? You brought bats? What, were you hoping for a quick ball game during the protest? They were ready to incite violence all along. We're good to go, right boss? Of course. You saw it! They attacked us first! Come on, everyone! This is our moment! Bleach the Grey! You get out of the room now. You're scared? <laughs> Someone call the police! Tell them we're being attacked by thugs! Go away! 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 This isn't over! Go away! Go the memory away. of today will only Go strengthen away. our resolve! Go away! We're done playing around! Serves you right! Don't come back! This is our town! Good job, everyone! It's so inspiring to see you fight evil! Yeah! Remember this day with pride! They got what was coming to them. Couldn't let him talk shit about the recently departed like that. But I'm the one who got us into a scuffle. Ugh, sorry, I should have stayed calm. Eh, don't worry about it. Now we know what they're really about. Besides... What? If somebody messes with one of us, they mess with all of us. Man, that felt good! After all this time, we got to actually do something! Yeah! I wish those useless bums in the Seiryu clan could have seen that! Oh, come on, they ain't that bad. Yes, they are. We can't rely on them. I've realized something. No one's gonna protect us but us. The Yakuza aren't gonna help. I agree! These dudes are way more reliable than that dumb Seiryu clan! Yeah! Remember this day with you guys! Up with you. You. Not them. you should teach I them another lesson! I feel way safer with you around! Hell yeah! Amazing! Having right money. I'd say we're- Let's- You know- Hell of a day. And we've got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Again. Guess we should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? You ever notice how she only picks on me? Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Not a chance in hell, old boy. Hey, how about I make dinner for everyone? Wow, you can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here we go. She sure seems happy about falling in with us. But... But what? I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. But it's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, you're right. Okay, be back in two shakes. What's up?
Okay, Shay Shay. Next? Let's see. One million yuan. Just a minute. Oh, no, there's not enough. Excuse me, boss? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. Lawisa,小兔的神经间底了 Wait right here. Yes, sir. What the? That wooden box. What the heck? This is just paper. Do they use paper in Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. What? Oh, um, it's not here yet. What? Counterfeit bills? Yeah, those have got to be fake. Unbelievable. I mean, it's fucking weird, right? Where'd all that extra money come from? He did have to go to the bank. No, he went to the second floor. Never set foot outside. I saw him. And when he came back down, he was carrying the case of money. Could be they've got a safe up there. Who knows how much would be in it. But then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here? Why did I come up short? There's always the explanation that someone was just lazy. If all he needed to do was go up to another safe, he wouldn't have asked for half an hour. Good point. Let me get this straight. When the vendor asked for payment, there wasn't enough cash. So then the boss got more money from... somewhere in this building. And that's where the box comes in, remember? There was a box with paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah. Just reams and reams of paper. Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait, are you saying the paper is... It's what they use to print the fake money. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They've gotta. What, and all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake-ass money? I don't know. Seems like a damn foolish plan. But it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. I mean, after all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China, where they won't be traced back to Japan. It's bold, but in a way, airtight. Mabuchi's a sharp guy. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. What, you mean money laundering? When I was in prison, I heard some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. 
Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? I'm beat. No worries, I'll go. Ichiban, you used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yeah. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? I guess so, but what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her, just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. <sighs> I can't hold that many. Let me just stick with these two, man. Toughen the fuck up, bro. We don't have time for your bitching. used to work in here yet? Oh, sure. Hmm. Foreman's been talking about you nonstop. I think he might even ask you out soon. Oh, looking forward to it. Get this cleaned up. Shit, where did it go? So, just how did you end up with this? Huh? Uh, I don't know. What? 
You saying this money just grew legs and walked over here by itself? <sighs> hmm. Fat chance. <sighs> hey! These four Japanese are thieves! They're trying to steal the company's money! They almost made off with some of your pay! Are we gonna let them get away with that? I say hell no! Let's tear these fuckers up and load them in boxes! you guys anyway hand over that damn money already fuck you just one bills all I need come on one bill what the fuck kind of thief are you Oi! Yo, Huh? <laughs> 